Makeup lovers, welcome, welcome to my channel. <laughs> Why do I mess it up all the time? I've done it like a billion times. Hey, magic and makeup lovers, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here again. It means the world to me. And welcome if you're new. Please, please, please show your support by subscribing. You gotta click the little, little red button that says subscribe. And also, don't forget to click the bell because it's gonna give you a notification. It's gonna send you a notification. <laughs> I can't talk. Maybe if I speak slowly, it's gonna send you a notification every time my videos are up. I'm having a hard time because I'm excited and also tired and I gotta go in eight minutes. As always, every time I do a makeup, I have to go somewhere. <laughs> but anyway, if you want to know how I did this twisted Pikachu, Pokeball, Pokemon makeup and body paint, keep watching and see you at the end of the video. Hey there! I'm excited! <laughs> It's uh, the third, I believe. Please don't be blurry. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> I believe it won't take me too long. But then again, I always say that. <laughs> and then eight hours later, I'm still at it, so we'll see. <laughs> anyway, for this anime makeup, I will start by blocking out my eyebrows. So, <laughs> stop talking and let's get down to business. To block out my eyebrows, I'm using glue and compact powder, like this. And a sponge. And my fingers and saliva. Yes, I said saliva. Because saliva makes it easier to like brush your eyebrows up and it also helps you remove the excess glue so that when you put on the powder there isn't too much glue and it doesn't get all patchy and you know like dirty I guess. So anyway, let's get started with the glue. And the bottom. So you always want to brush the eyebrows up because all right start over <laughs> try to construct sentences that are like make sense to people <laughs> a lot of people ask me how i block up my eyebrows what i do is i just put the glue i brush my eyebrows up and then with my fingers you will see i brush them up again force them up i use saliva to make it like stick better and then i wait a few seconds i don't wait a long time and i put on the powder and i repeat the process two or three times depending on how much coverage you want or how thick your eyebrows or how dark they are. I almost licked it though. <laughs> now I lick my finger. I actually learned this saliva little trick by watching Jordan Hans. One day I, was, I just got on her stream and she was licking her fingers and then brushing her brows and the glue and, and I was like, are you actually licking the glue? And she said, yes. <laughs> It does work better than just using the glue and the powder. Then I'm not responsible if you eat too much glue, okay? Disclaimer alert! Alright, so now I'm gonna put on the powder on top of the glue. And if you see that your eyebrows still show, you can just repeat the process. But don't do it too much because if you put on too many layers, then it's gonna crack and it's gonna look messy. So two layers is the best. One usually works. But I'm gonna put on the second layer. And I'll do the other eye off camera. Go away. For the second layer, I don't use my saliva, obviously, because I have powder. So if I use my saliva, I'm gonna wet the powder and it's gonna ruin everything. That's all. Ooh, I got powder in my eye. Oh. I won. Um, no, I need to take a, fi a, fi a, a picture. I need to take a picture of my progress like, on Instagram, so I'll be right back. So, what is the next step? I want to paint the features of my character, but I'm wondering if I should put on foundation or not. Probably, what do you think, guys? Because if I do it before, then my paint is gonna mix with the foundation, so. It's a tricky question, guys, that I should have thought about before <laughs> the makeup. But you know me, I always improvise, so. I think I will do, I will put on the foundation afterwards so that the paint doesn't mix with the foundation and I really have the real colors. Of the paint. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sketch the fake eyes and the fake mouth and 
then I will put on the foundation. I'm gonna use this tiny brush here and white paint. This goes away. I'm trying to clean, trying to clean my keep, <laughs> trying to keep my desk clean. All right. So because I'm an anime character, I want to have huge eyes and big mouth and <laughs> basically no nose. My dream. <laughs> uh, maybe I will. No, I don't need to do that right now. Well, maybe I should. Uh -huh, sorry, I'm very confused today. <laughs> More than usual. I'm gonna put some powder on my lips because they're a little bit too pinkish. Ooh, now I look very sick. <laughs> I hope I won't have to do this twice because I don't want to. Oops. <laughs> Clumsy girl. I want it to be, I guess, this big, like this, and the fake nose a little bit above it, here in between. And then my fake eyes are gonna be here. <laughs> it's a huge ass mouth. All right, is that the shade that I want? It sort of is, but I don't really like this part here, so I think I'll fix it. Yes, it is very big. <laughs> Okay, um, now let's do the eyes. Wait, so the nose is gonna be somewhere here. The nose. No, I had that bone here. It always curves the thing, but... Alright, now let's put on the foundation all around our fake anime face. Uh, what should I use? I will use a brush to put on foundation all around the shapes and then I will use my beauty blender. That sounds like a reasonable idea. So, I'm done with the foundation. Now, uh, maybe I will set it a little bit with powder. And my skin is oily. All right, I think we are good. Yes. Now, I'm going, all right, I should never talk when I'm touching stuff and making noise. I really gotta think about you guys' comfort when you watch my videos. And I'm still putting away stuff, making noise and talking. <laughs> so now that the foundation is on, I'm going to paint my beautiful big eyes and my big mouth. And uh, I hope it doesn't take too long, but it shouldn't, I think. We'll see. Alright, I'm gonna start with the mouth. I will start with well, grabbing the right paints for starter because I don't have them. I'm gonna do the black line all around the mouth, even if I have to redo it, but at least it will be there already. No, I would not do that. I am changing my mind. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Forget what I said. I'm gonna paint the, the teeth, right? Yes. No, I'm not gonna paint the teeth. Yes, I will. Oh god. Can't decide what to do today. Okay, let's just paint the teeth. So, we have teeth up and down. I wish I didn't speak sometimes. All right, I think this is not bad. It looks kind of straight, right? Now I'm gonna put on the ones that are down here. I need to leave the space at the bottom for the gums. That's not bad. Now I will put on the light pink here, but I need to make it because I don't have such a light pink. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of red and white. Like a lot of white and, yeah, that's exactly what I just said. A little bit of red and white. Jesus, I'm sorry. Now I put on the, uh, I think I'll do the darker red, like the, you know, the top of the mouth, I don't know what it's called. Alright, let's shape the tongue.
All right, I'm gonna do the top. Awesome, Greg. And it should make, of course. It's a bit too similar to the other pink I've made before, so I will darken it. <laughs> I love it already. All right, so I'm done with the base colors. I'm just gonna go over the colors again, either to make them darker or more even. Oh. You are. You're sexy. Don't be blurry, please. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to add a little shadow on the back of the tongue. I'm not sure I have the right color. I'm using eyeshadows. And it's supposed to be a darker version of this pink here. I don't really have one, so I'm gonna try a reddish color and we'll see if it works. If it doesn't, I'll put gray. Maybe. Maybe I should put gray. You know what? Okay, yeah, I'll put gray. <laughs> You see it? <coughs> oh, sorry. Um, so now, guys, I'm going to darken the top and the bottom of this area just to give it more depth and more realism. But I don't want to add too many details either because I want it to still look like an anime. So anime uh, graphics are usually pretty simple. So yeah, I'm just adding a little bit of black eyeshadow. I need a little bit of gray on the teeth. Now I'm going to put the line, the start, start over Sarah. Now with black paint and a tiny brush, I'm gonna outline the mouth, the teeth, the tongue and all that. This is so fun. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna add lines. Oh, it itches me. Oh, oh dear. <sighs> so I'm gonna outline the teeth and the tongue. So much for a thin line. Done. Just need to add some white here on the pink to make it look like it's shiny. And I think I will be able to move on to the eyes. Yes. <laughs> and we are good. <laughs> All right, let's go and do the eyes now. <laughs> oh. All right, now I'm gonna do the other eye for you guys. It's not very hard to do in itself, but the hard part of it is because is that there are a lot of there are. <laughs> There are a lot of curves and thin lines and it's hard to do when your hands shake and, and it's hard to, to do a thin line when you can't put your hand anywhere, you have to hold it in the air. Other than that, it's pretty simple. Alright, so the first thing I did was I put on the iris and, um, and I painted it with the... I really have trouble speaking today. Today. And then I will add eyeshadows on it to give more realistic color to my eye. That is very realistic, but you know what I mean. Uh, hopefully, it's gonna be symmetrical. <laughs> and if not, then screw it. I think it's not too bad, is it? It's hard to see. I usually see this when the makeup's done and I've taken the final picture and taken a shower. <laughs> I think it's all right. So I'm gonna let the yellow dry and in the meantime, I'm going to put the white everywhere around the iris.
<laughs> looks like a weird panda. I don't know. The panda have black eyes, don't they? All right, let's put the nose here. Is that enough? Yes. I think the yellow is dry, so we can put on the eyeshadows now. And I'm gonna start with. Ooh! <laughs> I'm going to start with an orange and then we will see. So maybe I should have used paint, like orange paint and brown paint. I suppose it could have been also a way to do it. I just, I don't know, I forgot that my eyebrows were here under the paint and it makes it a bit hard to paint with eyeshadow but if you're going to recreate this look, maybe you should use paint on your eyebrows, it's going to be easier. All right, so we have orange. Now I'm gonna put on brown. I feel like this one is a little bit higher, but <laughs> I hope not. Now it's the hard part, um, which is the, all the black lines, but you gotta do it. So I'm using my eyeliner because it's a bit easier than the brush. And I'm gonna create all the like the wrinkles and the eyebrow eyelashes, eyebrows. All right, I can't talk, guys, because I can't breathe. So, see you in a bit. All right, okay. I can do this. I'm gonna use paint. That's what I did on the other side, so let's try and do something symmetrical. Symmetrical. Jesus, I can't speak English today. Sorry guys. Can't wait to do the Pikachu now. It's almost finished up here. Alright, fuck yes, fuck yes, shut up. That's not bad. Let's do the uh or well, the end of the iris and then we'll do the eyebrows. And uh then we'll take a little break. Okay, so it's got to be approximately at the same spot as the other one. <laughs> okay, I'm almost done. I'm gonna add that light, that light yellow <laughs> on top of the orange. So now let's finish the eye with that crease here and the eyebrow. I think I used my eyeliner, I'm not sure. Such bad memory. And now eyebrow. Well, they're not identical. <laughs> but neither are my real eyebrows, so I guess it makes sense. Maybe I can fix that a little bit. Yeah, you know, it's it's fine. <laughs> okay, guys, I think I'm finished with the face. Oh, no, I'm not finished. There's something I forgot. So can you guess what it is? You have three seconds. Did you guess? I forgot the gray eyeshadow inside the white. Let's do this, and then we can do Pikachu. Pikachu! All right. <laughs> All right, so now I'm moving on to the body paint and I'm gonna start by cutting off this Pikachu slash Pokeball stencil that I made. That's gonna make it easier for me to paint it because it's always so hard to paint a perfect circle, especially on your chest, with uh, my dear collarbone, least favorite part of my body, among other parts. <laughs> Um, okay, so here is my stencil and I'm gonna glue it here. I have a wig, by the way, but I'm not putting it until the last minute because wigs was the lights that I'm using. They make me super hot and I don't mean sexy, I mean super sweaty. So, okay, ready. Let's use some, I lost it, spirit gum and glue the stencil here. <gasps> you should have seen what I just did. 
can't believe it didn't fall. I pushed my mirror closer to me. I repositioned it so I can see the chest. And I have a bowl of water here to clean up my pants, my, my, my brush. And when I pushed the mirror, it pushed a couple boxes where all my sponges are. And a couple boxes pushed the bowl, which was honestly exactly like this with the water here. And it was it's the kind of things that happen to me all the time. They actually fall. But it didn't. Maybe I'm getting lucky. <sighs> To touch wood. All right, whatever. <laughs> Shut up, sir. Let's just cut this. This little thing here. Uh, what side do I want to put? It doesn't really matter. I guess. All right. So if this is like this, it's gonna be upside down on my video, right? This is what happened to me last time. So if I want it to be like this, I have to put it like this. But then again, it doesn't really matter. All right. Let's put it in the middle. I'm not gonna keep the stencil very long. I just needed to uh, put some shade and some light. All right, um, I don't know <laughs> what I'm doing right now. All right, so I'm trying to give it a round, not round, but oval or circular kind of like a curved shape. Yeah, curved, that's what I was trying to say. I need to add a darker brown. It's probably gonna be the hardest part. Everything else is plain colors. Shit, it's glue. God damn it. All right, guys, so shit happens. I hope that when I remove the stencil, I can see the shape. And now I'm gonna put some white eyeshadow I powder, I white powder here and a little bit there. Let's remove the stencil and pray that it's a different color. Yay, it's very sticky. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Don't panic. I think I'm gonna clean it up. Yeah. I'm just gonna. Ooh. I'm just gonna do nothing at all. Maybe I should use um. What is it called? Spirit gum remover. Probably. Come on, just. Open it. All right. Hello, can you fucking open it? Sorry. Oh, I've put so much. Yes. So now, the fun part. Yes. Paint a Pokeball. I have to put the Pokeball upside down. So guys, I didn't film it because it took me forever, but I had to redo the stencil because I put them upside down. <laughs> so it was just, just didn't look right. So I had to do it again. <laughs> Panic there for a few minutes. I just cleaned up here the sides and with a Q-tip, I removed the powder. So it shows the tail here and his hand and ear. So I think I'll do Pikachu first because it's yellow and yeah. I have two yellow, but I think Pikachu is, I don't know, is it bright yellow or more like the sun yellow? Which color is better? I'm gonna use this one. All right, let's do the ear and the hand, the arm. <laughs> I will put on the black and the white. I will add the circle here and all the details. So, black.
don't be blurry. You're blurry. Please don't be. Thank you. All right, so I'm gonna add the circle here, and to make a real good circle, I'm using my chapstick thingy, and I will just put a little bit of silver paint all around it, so it gives me at least the initial circle, and then I will paint myself. As we say in French, I don't have a compass in my eye, which means that I can't draw a circle like this. Anyway, sorry, I'm still talking. Alright, so now I gotta let it dry a little bit and then I will add all the details but in the meantime I'm gonna think about what else I can do. Is this dry? I think I will go back on Pikachu and add a second coat of yellow because it doesn't look very good right now. It's not very good. Alright, this is much better. I think I will work on the red part of the ball and make it more shiny and more 3D. So to do that, I don't need to add red paint, but I need to add white and black. I will start with the black eyeshadow, which is, I have no idea where I put it, here. at the bottom. Ugh, I've put too much. <laughs> then I'm gonna put some very light red. It's kind of a pink. So I'm mixing red and white. dropping everything. My remote fell into my trash. This is what I take the pictures with. It changed my life. Amazing. Anyway, now I'm gonna put white here. Yes, no more. Stop here, Sarah. In the meantime, I'm going to go back to, to the button here and uh, make it look 3D or... Wait, is it dry enough? I don't think it's dry enough. You know what? I'm gonna do what I did on the red part here, but on the white here. So let's start with gray eyeshadow. <laughs> oh, <it's so> <laughs> I'm very clumsy today. Today. I need some white. I'm gonna put the. Bleh, 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 bleh. I'm so weird. I'm gonna put the black and then I'll finish with the white. So I'm almost done. Then I will do Pikachu's detail and that's it. Put on the wig. And it's it's not even 5 p.m. I usually finish at 6 or 7. So cool. Alright, black paint. Very, very small detail brush. Alright, that's not bad. My hands are shaking a little bit, but. Considering they are shaking, it's, it's not bad. Now I'm going to add more shadows under and inside the button. This is not easy at all. Alright, so I'm gonna let the button dry and go over to Pikachu and I'm just gonna add a little bit of light and shade to uh, his body. So I'm making a dark yellow. I'm just adding a little bit of black to my yellow paint. Can you see that it's darker? Not sure. Now I'm gonna add white. Yeah, I think white will do because then it's gonna be matching with the yellow and it, it will make very light yellow. So that's the color I'm aiming for. And my brush is dirty, so it's not a completely white white. So it's perfect. the last brush strokes now guys. I need some more black here at the bottom of my pokeball. 
Oh, but I forgot to put the black on the phone. I love my Pokeball. <laughs> Looks cool. Oh dear, it just dawned on me that I thought I was done, but I forgot I wanted to add stars, like when you catch a Pokemon. Well, I'm not done at all. That's why every time I say, oh, this makeup is not gonna take me a long time. It took me eight hours. I started four and fifty hours ago. Took a break for lunch. Still, I have to do all the stars. I'm gonna do Pikachu's ears and black, not contour, overline, underlines, highlight, I don't know. You know what I mean? And then I will do all the stars and then I will be done. <laughs> oh, geez, that's a lot of and then and then and then and then and then. I don't know how I'm gonna do the little tiny fingers. Yay, I think I'm finished. Woohoo! I mean, at least with this. Now, let's do the stars. <sighs> Oops. I'm almost done. Now I'm gonna use yellow paint and I'm gonna put all the stars of, oh, bleh, around my Pokeball. I wish I could speak like a normal person. It's not easy to draw a star. <laughs> all right, let's put another, another big one here, I guess. All right, I'm gonna add a few more and then I'll do the small ones with you guys. Don't be blurry. All right, so I've added stars. Now I'm gonna put smaller ones and maybe in different colors as well. Maybe. So I'm looking at a reference photo here and it has some green and orange and yellow stars. So it looks nice. So maybe I will do the same. <laughs> I will put, I think, orange, green and that's it. <laughs> And now let's put green. All right, I don't wanna to add too many, so that's enough. Then I will make these stars shine a little bit with white paint in the middle and I will make it look like a shining star, I guess. Where is my, where is it? I lost it. Where did it go? Am I sitting on it? No, oh, it's behind me. All right. I will apply a pale yellow eyeshadow in the middle of my big stars. Could be finished right now, but no, I have to add details. This is my, my obsession, can't help it. And I want to make it a little bit more orange on the outside of the stars, so guess what? <laughs> And guys, let's finish the stars by adding the white that I was talking about earlier before I decided to add more details that were not necessary. And then we are finished. Gotta put on the wig and say goodbye already. All right, last stars guys, there's two more. Last brush strokes and I'm finished. I'm happy. It's a happy painting. I want to add something guys. <laughs> I want to add white inside my stars. So it was not the last brush strokes. I'm sorry. Better with white inside. Okay, I do believe. Oh no, I forgot one star. Sorry guys. All right, I believe that I am finished. All right, I'm almost finished. I'm sorry. I have to put on the wig. Well, yeah, this look is nothing without the wig. It's a perfect wig for this makeup. I'm excited. Oh no, I forgot something. <laughs> I did. But I don't think I will add it because I'm scared it's gonna ruin the makeup. When you catch a Pokemon, there is a, like, a halo around the Pokeball, like on Saturn. Saturn. And I don't know. 
I'm not sure that if I do it, it's gonna look good. So it might be the additional detail that ruins the look. I've done that before. Guys, you're gonna hate me. I am so sorry, but I forgot something. On my initial draft for this look, added a little tear. I forgot to paint it. Guess what? So I'm gonna put it here, I guess. Or on the forehead. I don't know, where should I put it? On the forehead or here? I'm gonna put it on. Oh, but I have a wig. Good thinking, Sarah. Good thinking, because... Let's put on the wig, guys. Don't ruin the makeup. Wait, what? Alright, so <laughs> let's put on the ponytails. <laughs> Look at me. I have paints, fine. The question of the water drop. Uh, obviously, I cannot put it on my forehead anymore. So I'm gonna put it where I wanted to put it initially. So let's put on a pale blue. Where's my mirror? Please, where is my mirror? Oh, it's in my lap. Then I'm gonna put on the darker blue and white. And then I promise you this is the last time that I say it, that I am finished. Yes, there's nothing else I can add. Let's put on the white and wrap it up. Oh, I'm finished! <laughs> I can't believe it. <sighs> well, guys, I think I'm finished, right? I mean, my eyes here are not perfect, but that's because I keep closing them, so it just messes up the white, and I really don't know what to do about it. If you know how to keep the paint on your eyes, please let me know, because I don't. I'm sorry about the eyes. They are not perfect, but it's really hard to keep the paint clean on your eyes. I have a hair in my mouth. Well guys, that's it. I'm finished and I'm super happy with the result. It's really fun like I wanted it to be and also realistic with the Pokeball. I mean, what else can I say about it? I'm just happy and I think it's a cool twisted version of Pokeball, Pokemon, Pikachu makeup. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I had fun and <laughs> it took longer than I thought as always. That's all right. It's fun and it's all done with love. So that's it for this week. I'll see you next Friday with a new makeup. Up. Also, there's gonna be the next face award soon, so I'll be pretty busy. I'm looking for ideas. I don't know what to do for the contest. If you have suggestions, please let me know. I have no idea what to do. Like, it's the dry page. I don't know if that's what you guys say. But anyway, I have no inspiration and I need your guys' help. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here again for the support. It means so much to me. And I'll be seeing you. <laughs> Seeing you soon with a new makeup. Bye.